It is incredibly rare for Tennessee lawmakers to kick out an elected member of the General Assembly. In fact, it has only happened three times, not including today's since the Civil War. Investigative reporter Ben Hall takes a closer look at who has been expelled and why. He is the most recent member of the state House of Representatives to be kicked out of office. Right now, I'm focused on spending time with my family during what has been a very difficult time for us. In 2016, Republican State Representative Jeremy Durham was ousted after more than 20 women came forward with allegations of sexual misconduct. A 40-page attorney general's report detailed claims from interns and politicians who said Durham harassed them. One report claimed he had sex with an intern. There were times when my communication was less than professional. Despite fighting the charges, 70 votes sealed his fate, and Durham was expelled. This whole process has been a very painful process. Not On the Senate side, Democratic State Senator Katrina Robinson from Memphis was expelled last year after she was convicted on federal fraud charges. As we are here to establish whether I'm guilty or innocent of a crime. You have to go back to 1980 to find another expulsion. Republican Representative Robert Fisher was convicted of accepting a bribe. Lawmakers then voted to expel him. But there are other well-known lawmakers who got in trouble, but who never got kicked out. Republican Glenn Cassida lost his speakership after a News Channel 5 investigation discovered racist text messages sent by Cassida's chief of staff, Cade Cothran, one using the N-word, another saying black people are idiots. How can you defend that? Does that say something about your attitude toward African Americans? One of them was sent to Cassida himself. It kind of verifies in my mind there's something not right about that story. Speaker, what did you tell the caucus? The speaker initially claimed the texts were not real, but our investigation uncovered other text messages, including vulgar ones about women. The Franklin Republican kept his seat and was even re-elected. Then last year he was arrested on bribery charges. That case is still pending. He decided not to seek re-election, but he was never brought up for an expulsion vote. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates. You have to go back to 1866 to find other state lawmakers who were expelled. That's when six lawmakers were removed after they tried to prevent Tennessee from ratifying the 14th Amendment, which gave citizenship to former slaves. It is also worth noting that in 2001, then state senator Marsha Blackburn called for protesters to descend on the state capitol during the income tax vote. Those protests got out of hand, but Blackburn did not face any consequences.